Hey YouTube, July 2nd, day 2 of Transformers Custom Showcase Month. And like yesterday, we're going to be looking at another reshoot of one of my first customs I ever received. Actually, this is number 2 and number 1 was yesterday. This time we're looking at the Meisterworks take on Shattered Glass Rodimus. As before, it does did come in a custom box. Nice window picture of where the figure was. I already took him out just because save some time. And actually, I don't even display him in this box. He's displayed in my Scyther armor. Same as the last one. He does did include a custom bio card. And give you guys just a minute. We're There you go. If you guys wanted to read that, hopefully you're able to. If not, pause, rewind, rewatch. All right. Now his take. He <laughs> uses the uh, challenge with Cybertron Rodimus to do this, and similar to his smoke screen, he used a lot of metallic auto paints. Uh, he did do a, just a flat black for the actual car itself. The metallic purple fade on the rear tail fin, metallic red there, and a carbon fiber, well, okay, metallic black, orange, and red that looks very carbon fiber there, and a red engine. Uh, he did add some of his own detailing to this project, so that one I really have to touch on and address the fact of how nice it is. The only place that really lacks a paint general paint thing is the hinge right here and that's not a big deal because it's not really noticeable unless you point it out. Uh, he did redo the exhaust, paint the exhaust, nice purple detailing on the bottoms, silver and gold all around, including as well as, I'm sure you can tell it was the Sons of Cybertron one, a purple to gold fade on the flank propulsion for the gun. Alright, let's get him transformed. Now his transformation is a slight bit different than the traditional Rodimus, and I'll get into that why and how. Uh, you're going to want to pop off the gun. Next thing you're going to do, split the tit legs, or what it will become the legs, the back section of the car. Flip that up. And unlock the canopy. Now from here, this part will all be the natural Rodimus transformation. Connect the legs, flip out the feet. Same thing on the other side. Just a bit. Separate and pull out. Rotate that up. Rotate that down. Hands come out, grab them, flip them out, and because I'm going to be showing off the detailing, even though I don't ever use this, I'm going to flip out the buzz saw, and come around behind, make sure you slide, <laughs> that gets slid forward, and then this will clip on here. So side note, this is Partially for the battery cover, and partially because he added a waist articulation to this mold now, hence the sliding forward. So this way, the canopy does not hinder the waist in any way, shape, or form. Oh, flip down the leg van lower leg panels. Sorry. Now, similar to smoke screen. Meister did not, works did not miss a, a single attention to detail on this figure to make it their own and custom. 
Uh, the back that's normally light piping, they painted a metallic gold so it looks the same. Zoom in quick on the chest detailing. Beautiful metallic red here. And actually, I'm pretty sure I called that gold and that was my bad. I'm sorry. The gorgeous red flame detailing. Gold bits. Just lightly hinted at all over. Did a very good job adding purple, gold, and silver highlights to the shoulder panels. Hands are all done in a metallic purple. And metallic purple for the saw uh, holster and then silver for the blade itself. Nice purple shading there with gold highlights. Same with the feet. Now, and then the head, as you can see, he does have a purple crest as well as the evil goatee. There we go. But more importantly, as you saw earlier with the uh, battery case, if you flip this up, you'll see there's a little cord connecting that to the center hinge. Now, the center hinge is where Rodimus' head is. So if we click this little button in here, flip it down, his eyes glow purple. Get the, all the lights off for this. And it's just evil and ominous. Alright, and I want to leave you on that note, the fully dark evil glowing head of Erotimus. We'll see you tomorrow for day three. As usual, it, this time we're going to be looking at a new custom added to my collection. And uh, for those of you who are interested, this is going to be one of the works done by Frenzy Rumble. So we'll see you guys tomorrow and look forward to seeing what we have, he's got in store for you. Bye.